Does your loved one have a wound on the plantar surface of the foot, meaning the bottom of the foot, due to either diabetes or something called a peripheral neuropathy? I'm here to help you. I'm Alan Beanstock, and I am a board-certified plastic and reconstructive surgeon. I specialize in wound care, particularly in those that are homebound and bedbound. Today, we're gonna to talk about diabetic foot ulcers as well as peripheral neuropathy ulcers. These type of wounds generally involve the lower feet, what we call the plantar surface. Why do these type of wounds happen? In diabetics, you get these wounds because there's decreased sensation on the bottom of the foot, that's, which leads to a neuropathy. The patients who don't have diabetes also have what's called a peripheral neuropathy, meaning that the peripheral nerves to that area which control sensation are impaired, which means you can't feel when your foot is touching the surface, whether it's too long. When someone doesn't have peripheral neuropathy or, or extreme diabetes, they feel that their foot is putting too much pressure on the foot. So when this happens, you can get what's called a diabetic foot ulcer or a neuropathic ulcer on the bottom of the foot. So what do you do to manage this? Well, the first thing is you have to make sure there's adequate blood flow, meaning you have to do arterial studies to make sure there's adequate vascularity to that wound in order to heal. If there's impaired vascularity, sometimes this can be treated by a vascular surgeon by both invasive and non-invasive strategies, such as putting a stent in one of the blood vessels or doing surgery to improve the blood flow. If, the, if there's no arterial compromise, then we can do very good wound care. The most important thing is we can't really fix the neuropathy or the diabetes. We can make it less, less mitigating, meaning that we can minimize it. So the most important thing is in diabetics, we have to control the blood sugars, which means obviously it needs to be diet control as well as, as well as medication control. This needs to involve a good collaboration with your primary doctor and or your endocrinologist. In terms of peripheropathy, this can be from neurologic conditions. Those have to be managed by your neurologist and your primary care physician. So let's get back to the wound, what we actually have to do. So the most important thing is we wanna minimize relentless pressure on that area, which means we have to have adequate sh shoes or footwear. If you're wearing hard shoes, you're gonna be putting enormous pressure. In these type of wounds, I recommend either a special boot that's designed by a podiatrist or a special cobbler who can make a special boot that takes pressure off of that area, this is the bottom foot, or you can get a sneaker with extra, with a big, with a large piece of foam and do a cutout, meaning you circle on the foam where the wound is and cut that out so it minimizes the pressure when you're walking. In any event, in either case, whether it's from diabetes or peripheral neuropathy, you wanna minimize walking and pressure on this. Doesn't mean we want you in bed or in a chair not walking. It means you can't be standing, whether it's in, in synagogue, church, or some other institution, where you're standing on your feet all day. So once we've eliminated the pressure element and have adequate footwear, we need to address the actual wound itself. Sometimes these wounds have what's called the large callus, meaning there's kind of like a large amount of dry, kind of either wet or tissue and scab. These have to be adequately cleaned sometimes surgical debris may just be cut out. And we wanna make sure that we're cleaning it out, minimizing the bacterial load, meaning minimizing the bacteria. I'm generally not a large, a huge fan of ointments in this area because you're just adding moisture. I wanna dry these wounds out. As you can see in most of my videos, is a common theme. Wounds that have an enormous or a moderate amount of exudate or drainage need to be dried out because that's where the bacteria, that's where the bacteria allows all that exudate to come out. So you wanna dry these wounds. We have to generally dress this every day, sometimes every other day, depending amount on the amount of drainage. We can go into more advanced wound care for these type, of, these type of ulcers later on in a future session. I just wanted to go over the basic concepts. The most important thing is minimizing the pressure on the feet, adequate footwear, either with a special boot or a foam cutout, and good wound care, preferably daily wound care, keeping it dry and addressing the callus and any wet, wet tissue. Please leave your comments below and make sure you subscribe to the channel and I look forward to our next session. Thank you so much.